The U.S. Olympic rowing trials took place in Florida. Sunday was the final day to qualify for the U.S. Olympic team. Five athletes will go to Paris. Eileen Huckner spoke with one of the athletes who qualified for the team and has her reaction. They've stood by me through all my my pursuits, athletic and whatever else I've been doing. And, you know, the, the, the athletic one has obviously stuck <laughs> the most of any of them. The 2019 U.S. Rowing Female Athlete of the Year finished Sunday's single skulls final, making her second consecutive Olympics in the event. It just never gets old. It just, um, I haven't slept since 2 a.m. just thinking about this. and. I'm just so proud knowing how hard she's worked for this and how grueling it is. And this is the icing on the cake for all the hard work that she's put in. Just to, to give this to them, for the, always being there is just special. It's simple, it's special. It's been a dream for since I was very little. So I'm blessed to be able to keep doing it. Trust yourself, trust your po process. You have the skills, you know, look to other people for inspiration. I, you know, have a lot of incredible strong women that I get to train with every day. So learn from them, boost each other up. It makes it a hell of a lot more fun. It's been since 2012 Kohler has won her last medal. She hopes to change that this summer. How neat is that? <laughs> Very neat, Jeremiah. Oh my goodness, yeah, it takes a lot of training. And I hear rowing is a really, really gets the abdomen row, going. Row, and row, yeah. I have never even begun to get to that point, but mm -hmm. I have just done a little kayaking. Okay. Too much for me, mm. so <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll stick with that. Okay. Yeah, because no. kayaking, that's the one with like this, Yeah, the right? two, so yeah. It's, a, it's a little bit different, but that's like the closest that I've ever gotten, and mm -hmm. let me tell you, it was painful afterwards. Mm, all here? Yes, mm. a lot of the chest, a lot of the arms. That's I mean, it, it looks <laughs> nice and simple, but especially if you're not on a lake, if you're out in uh, the bay or mm. over, you know, out in the Gulf, it's a tough one, Oof. can't even imagine. All right, <laughs> jeez. Well, good morning, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jeremiah Marshall. I'm meteorologist Jessica Kirk. And I'm your lifestyle host, Danielle Bonda. I'm uh, waiting. Mm -hmm. I knew yeah. it. I knew it. I felt it coming. I felt the pressure. Just kidding, guys. It's National Cheesecake Day. I love cheesecake. Yes. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, too bad we don't have a cheesecake factory here, but it's fine. Corpus Whoa. is too. Tell me why last Tell night before why. I went to bed. Hey. hey. I looked up a recipe on how to make a cheesecake. No. Yeah. You literally. felt it coming. Yeah. yeah. I've wow. never made a cheese. Have y'all? I've never made a cheesecake before. I haven't before. 